Hi guys, welcome back to howmachineworks.com. Today let's learn how to improve the horsepower of your car. So we have 12 tips over here to improve the horsepower. Watch the entire video and learn it. So let's say the first tip, uh, use an electric fan instead of a mechanical fan. Uh, you can see between the radiator and the engine there will be a mechanical fan which is used for the cooling system which actually cools the uh, coolant going through the radiator. This mechanical fan is getting powered from the engine using a fan belt and this fan belt is actually connected towards the crankshaft. So the crankshaft gives the drive towards this mechanical fan. So that much amount of HP is shared for the fan belt. So if you can avoid this mechanical drive and install an electric fan which is directly powered from the battery, you can save that much amount of HP. So that much amount of HP is saved, that much amount of HP gets increased. That's the first tip. Second tip is use an electric fuel pump instead of a mechanical fuel pump. So the mechanical fuel pump gets its drive through a lobe from the crankshaft itself. So that much amount of HP is given by the crankshaft for powering this mechanical fuel pump. But if you use an electric fuel pump, that much amount of HP can be saved for that purpose and can be used for the vehicle's uh, drive. Uh, an electric fuel pump gets its drive from the battery itself. So if you are installing an electric fan and an electric fuel pump, the load going onto the battery and the alternator will be much more. So upgrade your battery and upgrade your alternator if you are doing that. The third tip is to alter your air induction system. The function of the air induction system is as you know it pulls the air and mixes with the fuel. So more air or more denser air means more oxygen. But due to a lot of limitations, the manufacturers which supply the air induction system won't have that much efficient air supply into the engine. They're limited for various reasons. But there are aftermarket products available where you can buy a very efficient, high performance air induction system which will provide good, denser air and cold air into the system which can help you uh, create more power. The fourth tip is that if you're using an old vehicle, it might be powered using a carburetor. The function of the carburetor is to fix the uh, air and the fuel and supply to the inlet manifold. Uh, but you know, there are a lot of limitations for carburetors. If you're using a, a two barrel carburetor, you can improve or advance to the next level like a four barrel carburetor which can mix more fuel and air, which can be more efficient, which can help in improving the age. And the fifth uh, tip is fuel injection pump the same way if it's a carburetor powered engine replace the carburetor with a fuel injection system aftermarket fuel injection systems are available which can be installed on a vehicle which can really improve the hp of your vehicle uh, the sixth tip is the performance chip so if your vehicle is a new one uh, if you are using easy use on the vehicle electric fuel injection system it will be powered with a performance chip which is coming with standard by the manufacturer so this is a computer or a uh, smart device which gives the programming towards uh, the fuel injection system to say when to fuel inject, how much amount to be injected. So this can be advanced by uh, buying aftermarket products like super chips from the uh, market which are already been tuned and programmed for high performance or you can buy a chip with the programming system and you can program it by yourself and improve the HP of your vehicle. Seventh one is improving the exhaust system. The exhaust system should be a free flow if there is a restriction to the exhaust that can reduce the horsepower of your vehicle. So you can see that if so less restriction, more power. Normally if your vehicle is having uh, two tape pipes, if I say two exhaust pipes, and the exhaust is coming from the engine as a single line, it gets, it gets into the catalytic converter, then gets split up into the two pipes. So it chokes inside the catalytic converter. So this has to be reduced. There should be free flow. True dual exhaust system has to be made. That means two exhaust is coming freely and it can flow outside without restriction. So you can remove the catalytic converter as per the law of your state or the country you have to follow that. Or you can put two catalytic converters in both the two tail pipes so that it won't choke inside a set of single one. But the catalytic converters are expensive so it depends on how much money you have. The eighth one is the turbocharger. So there are aftermarket turbochargers available. Uh, you might be knowing if your engine is not a turbocharged one, you can install a turbocharger to a vehicle and improve the horsepower. So aftermarket turbochargers can be used for that. The function of the turbocharger is to take the exhaust stream from the engine, power a turbine, and it will take the air from the atmosphere and gives it to the inlet manifold by compressing it. Uh, so it's more dense more amount of air, the volumetric efficiency increases and more oxygen is there so as a result more fuel can be burned and more power and more HP can be created so uh, you can opt a good turbocharger and aftermarket turbocharger for improving the HP of your vehicle. 
the next tip what I have to say is nitrous oxide. More power means more combustion. So if you are mixing nitrous oxide into uh, the inlet manifold which has a fuel and the air, the nitrous oxide will produce a more uh, fast combustion or a more effective combustion which releases more power. That means more HP. But the usage of nitrous oxides are restricted to some countries or states so the law is a factor. So follow the law of your country and install it. The tenth tip is to use a supercharger. Superchargers are those units get which get the drive from the engine itself and it sucks the air from the atmosphere and gives it to the uh, inlet manifold. So you all might not be knowing that superchargers can be used as an additional fitment. If your engine is not a supercharged engine, you can put the superchargers. Like if you see a vehicle, there are sports vehicles which have something projected out of their engine. So that's a supercharger. Normally what stock engines do is that uh, they use the vacuum and the air pressure to give in the air. So less amount of air, less denser air and less cold air is going inside. But superchargers can get more denser air and compress it and give it to the inlet manifold which has more oxygen. More power can be produced. Uh, but the cost of the superchargers are very high. It, it costs even more than an engine. So a lot of modifications also need to be done if you are installing a supercharger. So the cost factor is there. Uh, the 11th tip is uh, use a sleek white tire. So we have seen that people use very white tires for the look or the beauty of the vehicle. So if HP is more important to you, use sleek and optimum tires because uh, the resistance and the friction reduces and as a result of it, uh, less amount of energy is required to drive the vehicle. So it can save the HP, that means saving HP means producing more HP, right? And 12th one, uh, last one but not the least, a performance camshaft which can perfect your wire timing. So camshaft is actually uh, timing the wires which will open the wires at the right time which gives in fuel and also controls the exhaust. So if we have a performance camshaft which can be uh, aftermarket product, we can remove the current camshaft of your vehicle and install it. So it can perfectly time the wild timings and give more HP for your vehicle. So that's a great advantage. So these are some of the tips we have seen to improve the HP. Try it by yourself. If you have any doubt, you can drop a comment. And if you have any suggestions, you can also come up uh, with that. Thanks for watching this video. Please click the subscribe button for getting video updates like we will be uploading more technical videos. Please click the like button or do drop a comment to motivate our team. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.